What's up guys, Rasmus and Christian here. Uh, in today's video we want to talk about how Kindle Publishing has changed our lives and what online business has done for us and how it's uh, made it possible that we can travel the world and live wherever we want. Yeah, and hopefully this video can motivate you and show you uh, just exactly how life-changing it can be to have your own online business. Let's do this. Hello everyone and welcome to the casting couch. Yes. Where we share some things about us and basically talk about our Kindle journeys. Talk about our lives basically just yeah. so you know who we are. Yep. And uh, it's good to kind of get that personal connection, especially on YouTube. Yep, yep, exactly. Right. So let's see, I have my laptop here with some notes on it. I'm just gonna run down the list here. Yeah, so I could uh, not forget things. So first thing, uh, we are twins, identical twins. Uh, we were born in 1995, making us 22 years old. We were born and raised in New Jersey, but our enti entire family is Danish. So we grew up speaking Danish at home, uh, and we went to Denmark every summer. Um, so we are, we're basically half American, half Danish. This is how I see. It. We're born and raised in America. Yeah, like, born yeah. We're American, one hundred percent. Kind of by the way we were raised, but our blood is one hundred percent Danish. Yeah, <laughs> really. culturally American. Yeah, ethnically Danish. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's start with like high school. Okay. Um, so we graduated high school in two thousand thirteen. We were completely average students. Got like a uh, like 3.2 ERA. ERA? ERA? Oh shit. Too much baseball. 3.2 GPA. Uh -huh. That's a solid ERA though. It is. I like a 3.2 GPA. Just did the homework. Didn't really study. Yeah. Got B's on tests. Yeah. Did not give a shit about school. Hated, really. hi hated oh, high school. Oh hated. my god. Hated high school so much. Yeah. We had like a few friends and the whole thing was just shitty. Yeah. It reminded me too much of a job. Yeah. Uh, high school sucked so graduated 2013 um, then everyone else after high school went on to college yeah. uh, did that whole thing but we like literally 99% of people yeah at least everyone where, I know yeah at least where we came from yeah. uh, but that's not we wanted what we wanted to do so we moved so right, right after gra graduated we moved to Denmark mm -hmm. where we lived for two years uh, went to school for a bit uh, worked for a bit Kind of just hung out. I don't know. Uh, life was pretty pointless there. We kind of just lived and yeah. worked the job because we had to, not because we wanted to. Um, we were kind of just enjoying. I mean, I enjoyed living. It in was Denmark. a good time. It was a good time, but, but we had a lot of friends. We, had we fun, matured a lot, but we weren't doing anything productive. We were not thinking yeah. about the future careers. No, we were doing nothing related to online business. So this which is, is this is when we were yeah. uh, uh, nineteen and twenty years old. Yeah. Which is okay, eighteen to twenty. Eight to eighteen. Which is okay that age to have no purpose and don't know what you're doing and what's going on. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. So that's what we went through. Uh, but then after two years, we moved back home to New Jersey uh, with our parents. And that's basic, That's actually when things changed for us. Something in our heads just clicked, and we just realized that we wanted no part of this life where you didn't really achieve anything. It didn't have any purpose. Yeah. You weren't going anywhere. I don't know what happened, but I just kind of, it just came to me, and I realized I don't want to be a loser for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like I think I just saw that everywhere. I was like, wow, I, if I have this rest of my life... Uh, if I don't, if I don't change, um, I, I can't say that there's this one thing that made me feel that way. It just kind of inside us for a long time. And yeah, kinda, I, yeah. I mean, we were we kind of decided together, yeah. like, yeah, we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna just accept a stupid job and yeah, we were, something we really don't like. Yeah, we were living in Denmark. We tried a bunch of different jobs, and I just hated each and every single one of them, every second of it. Yeah, I hate I. I grossly detest having a job. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we moved back home after two years. So 2015, we began college. So we had we had so much motivated energy, 
and we just channeled it into school. Yeah. So we just focused just on school all the time. So we've always been yeah. very disciplined, very no, good. Not always, but starting. Oh here, yeah, you're right. Yeah, actually, not like, always. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew, right? We could put it all into school. Just uh, I could put like one hundred percent my time and effort in there. So now I I'm not a fan of school. Uh, things have changed. I've learned things about school and how pointless it is for a lot of people. But at the time, I took school very seriously and I actually enjoyed it. So after the first year at college, this was community college. Yeah, we still lived at home. We yeah, did not live in a dorm and go to parties. All yeah, time. yeah, we just lived at home and did school work. Mm-hmm. Didn't have any friends. A few friends didn't do much though. Yeah. Um. So after the first year, we both had perfect 4.0 GPAs. And all of that is attributed to the hard work we mm-hmm. put in. Simple yeah. as that. We had discipline. I mean, all we do no is one, on No one worked on school. Um, like, so, and I, we're not particularly smart. I, in a way... Let's <laughs> not. It's, it's, tough, it's tough to say because I didn't do anything. I'm not talented or anything. Like, most of school is memorization. And we just spent so many things like that. freaking hours just looking over notes. Memorizing it, we just we just memorizing for tests. Mm-hmm. I forgot That's everything right after time doing. We we were finding hacks to get good grades. Yeah. Um, so first year, four point oh GPA. Mm-hmm. Things were going great. We were super. Oh, by confident. the way, our, our our major was a. It started as an exercise science major. Yeah. Because we were very into working out, gym, fitness, health, all that. All that. Yeah. And then about after the first year, we switched to business. Yeah. Uh, major. Yeah. So after first year, we had 4.0 GPAs. Uh, and then into the summer, we were just feeling really confident about everything. Confident in ourselves, confident in our abilities, confident, confident in everything we could do. Can I say something? So school, I, I really hated school. I, no, okay. I hate school in general. I know and I did not saying. learn much at all from the classes. I didn't learn anything at all really from the classes. But it was still an amazing thing for us. And it changed our lives because it taught us that... If we really want to do something, which in this case was get a perfect 4.0 GPA, we could do it. We put all of our time and energy into it. And we just proved ourselves, like, holy shit, we can actually yeah. do this if we try. Yeah, that was a life-changing lesson that we learned. That yeah. if you put all your time, energy, focus into something, you can achieve it. Yeah. Everyone told us we could, couldn't get 4.0 GPAs, yeah. but we proved them wrong. Yeah. And, and then that, that has translated to every other part. But like, I'm convinced that I really want to do something I have the ability to do it and if I don't achieve it it's because I didn't do enough mm-hmm. or I wasn't good enough yes so so anyway after that oh, small I had, I had side thought. tangent I had another thought this video can't be too long okay I think it's kind of I wouldn't be bad if it's too long okay okay yeah. it also needs to be interesting well we'll see yeah if you don't give a shit, alright, we can make shit. it long, and then if they watch it, they watch it. If they don't, they don't. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. If it gets ten views, who gives a shit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then, into the summer, so we put ourselves, but we realized that uh, this whole having a job thing was not for us, and we had to figure out a way out of that, basically. So that summer, after uh, 2016, after one year of college, we realized that we wanted nothing to do with the whole corporate life, having a bullshit 9 to 5 job, we want nothing to do with that. Um, but we didn't know what other options there were. So, at one point we just wanted to start a gym, because we were into gyms, we were into working We were just out. looking for something. That yeah, was, that wasn't a job like that. That wasn't completely. I hated jobs. Horrible. Yeah, so then we just started doing research online, and then I stumbled, or we both stumbled across a guy named Stephen James, Project Life Mastery. Uh, most of you probably know who he is, and um, he just really opened our eyes to a lot of things, like mindset-related things, and then also online business. I started following this guy, like he became my role model. It's all his videos, I listen to all his podcasts. I, I honestly owe everything like that started our whole online business entrepreneurship, uh, you know, journey, if you want to call it that. Like he's reason we can do it. Mm-hmm. I want to be like Stephen James. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, so then, that's when I found Kindle Publishing because at the time that was the big thing he was teaching. Mm-hmm. So we had this course called K Money Mastery, it's like fifty bucks, uh, which I bought and started. Uh, so that was 
the summer 2016 that was the beginning of my kindle journey uh, but that ended pretty quickly after about a month after about a month i was scammed for three thousand dollars by some in germany because okay. i was outsourcing things to him i borrowed him money and he just never back to me I never heard of him. Yeah. and that was all the money i'd saved up which so that was that was pretty brutal i was doing that you started your own business. yes so we were we both wanted an online business and we thought it was best if we did two different businesses at the same same time then so we didn't know what to choose so if we chose one each then we could test twice as fast what works and what's good so whoever had more success the other one would hop into it. yeah right so i did drop shipping uh which is kind of like the most cliche online business not cliche is a, sounds like it's a bad thing it's the most common online business i feel like quick like 100 words about it yeah i i bought a course called dropship lifestyle which taught me how to do drop shipping. The course is amazing. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, drop shipping, to keep it short, is a lot harder than Kindle Publishing, in my opinion. I spent mm -hmm. so many more hours working than I ever have with Kindle Publishing. I was kind of I was working 24/7 on this drop shipping store that was making me like 800 bucks a month, working all the freaking time. So he was using more hours, but I was making more money. Yeah. With Kindle. Uh, but in the end, it kind of ended well because I was able to sell the business for $17,000. At that time, it was amazing. Yeah. So that kind of was like... So you made profit in the so end because it was, of that. Right. Had a little happy ending to that whole dropshipping business. Mm -hmm. um, and then it kind of evened out with what you made in the meantime. Yeah, more or less. So we were basically on the same level, yeah. money-wise. Yeah. So then, uh, after anyway, after I got scammed for my $3,000, I needed time to recover earn some money back through my job. I was working I was working at like a physical therapy front desk. Um, so, but from the first time I tried Kill and Punishing, I realized the potential, or I could see the potential in it, uh, that this was a business model that I could make work. So then in December 2016, I started it again. I, found, I came across uh, a course called My Self-Publishing Revolution by Luca. That's an individual made it. Um, so, yeah, that was in December. Started up fresh. December 2016. December 2016. Started fresh there. And honestly, uh, it was just growth every single month. Growth every month. So that's First a, month that's was 400. One year and a half ago. Yeah, a year and a half ago. Then 900, 2000, 3000. Every month, with, a section, with exception for a few months. Which, so I was just working at that while we were going to school on the side and working. So we were just putting in a lot yeah, of work. Right. We were putting in a lot of work. Uh, and so, and then until December 2017, I hit the $10,000 mark, which was actually the goal that I set for myself before I even started. Yeah, so, I wanna say something real quick. Cause we, we, yeah, we were going to college during this, the first six months mm -hmm. uh, of running. We were going to college until May 2017. So he was doing Kindle Publishing. I was running my dropshipping store. We both also had jobs. Working three days a week, three four days a week. Right, and we maintained four point GPAs. Yeah, first year our, we had four point Second year we also had four point GPA, while running our businesses and while having jobs. Yeah. We went hard as fuck. At that we, time. we went hard as fuck. We were yeah. grinding. Uh, I mean, we had like, like, we have friends, but we didn't hang out with our friends at all. Yeah. Every second was spent working. We didn't watch TV. We didn't play no video games. Yeah. None of that. So that's how we got off the ground. For kennel businesses, honestly. Yeah. So then, uh, I just knew I had to go. All all in on this. Mm -hmm. So we both dropped out of college. Yeah, because while we were doing this, we were going to college, we were still spending a shitload of hours on college, which was getting us nowhere. We knew it had no part of our future whatsoever. At that time, we decided all my business is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. That I, That's that's the only thing that's going to give me the freedom and the life that I want. We, would, we knew we were never, ever, ever, ever going to have a job. So why in the world are we, what do we need a business degree for? Yeah, exactly. At all. So like we just did it because we went to school because we didn't have any direction. But then we found a direction, so school was pointless to us at that yeah. point. So we were living at home. Our parents were paying for our education. Um, and we knew. We had kind of like tossed around the idea like, yeah, school. We don't need school anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and they did not agree. So we actually ended up dropping out without telling them. So, so we were living at home. Our parents were paying for our education. And we knew they uh, would not be happy with us if we did not finish school. So. I get it. I mean, I get it. Because we needed, like, 
four classes you know, yeah. to graduate. But we dropped out, and we dropped out without telling them. Mm -hmm. it, we, that was the only thing we had to do. We had to do what we had to do. Um, yeah. uh, we, we kept one class, and that was in order to get out of the house, so we didn't literally sit in our rooms all day, like, every, every day. Every hour of the day. Because yeah. um, we worked from our rooms. Mm -hmm. So well, then we dropped out, continued working our businesses, and the business kept growing and growing and growing when you focus on it full time. And then May 2017 is when we had our last class ever. We finally had, we finally had like every hour of the day to spend on our online businesses. I was also, I started my Kindle publish. I started publishing books in January 2017. So I had these books, came up with a few. I, I put these books up and they were making more money than my dropshipping business, which I was spending 24 seven running, mm -hmm. right? And then finally in August 2017, I sold my dropshipping business and went to Kindle full time. So then uh, we both moved to Thailand for three months, um, Chiang Mai, Thailand. That was where a lot of online business folks were moving to and working on with their online businesses. So we're like, we want to see what that's about. We weren't particularly into traveling at that point, but uh, after Thailand, now we are. That was an incredible experience. Um, so And now we're living in Hawaii, uh, where we're living for six months. So basically how we do things now is we move around and live a different part of the world three to six months at a time. And all this is possible because of our online businesses. So life's good. Mm -hmm. um, things are going well. Yeah. That more or less is our Kindle public journeys. And now we're starting with YouTube. This is a new chapter for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. Uh, so we're going to build that to, we're going to build that to mm -hmm. because we know we can. Right, this is like the thing. I I this, this is the thing I know that we learned in college. If we put all our energy and time into it, we can do you know we can do whatever we want. It happened with Kindle publishing, it happened with college, and it's gonna happen with YouTube as well. Yeah, that is our Kindle publishing journey. Uh, hopefully, it can motivate you to realize what's possible. The big thing, I think, the big takeaways from this is anyone work can hard. do this. Yeah, anyone can do it. We're not different. Like we. Just work hard. Like, it's as all, cliche as that sounds, it's all a decision. Like, we're not born talented or anything, but we decided to do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And bottom line is work hard. And have discipline. Have discipline. Work towards your goals every day. Mm -hmm. And then over time, keep on making progress every month. And you'll get to a place that's going to leave you a lot more fulfilled and happy than any job would because mm -hmm. fuck having a job yeah yeah no one wants to have a job that's my fucking everyone life everyone would sh everyone should strive to have full financial freedom mm -hmm. you got one life to live yeah what it could be i ain't trying to waste it yeah having a job yeah if you watch to the end which i honestly feel like mo a lot of people did not Funny. and that's okay okay that's, that's okay, okay. Uh, if whatever. you did watch to the end, that's wow. pretty impressive. Yeah, I love you. That's amazing. Yeah, I love you. If you did, we'll make it here. Comment kerfoofle if you watched it to the end. Kerfoofle. Kerfoofle. Yeah, it's a Canadian word. It's, yeah. You look it up if you're curious what it means. Yeah. Thumbs up. You better leave a like. Leave a like. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Uh, run that subscribe animation you made. Ding. Yeah, it clicks on the thing and the bell. Ding. Yep. Okay. Uh, Thanks for watching. All right, what's a cool way to sign off? Okay. I'm going to throw this mic at it, and it's going to turn into a transition. Okay. And we're out. And we are off. Fuck. And bye.